Hi again, this is Callum from Sideways Chester, welcoming you back to Callum's Concoctions, where I try and concoct a new mix of tobacco from existing blends we already have to come up with a new, exciting smoking mixture. This week I've set myself another challenge. Um, this is based on a review that hopefully is already on the channel of Kentucky Maroon that I did earlier in the week. And that reminded me just how much I like Scandinavian style aromatics. If you're not familiar with those, uh, they're similar to American style aromatics and they're based around a casing or flavor. But the Scandinavian ones tend to be a little bit lighter on the flavoring compared to the American ones that can be quite heavy and overwhelming with the flavoring. So, my challenge for myself today is to concoct a Scandinavian style aromatic using only British produced tobacco. So, I'm going to be mostly using Gaweth and Hogarth tobaccos as they are the UK's sole remaining tobacco manufacturer. So, for the flavouring element, I'm going to start off with some uh, CC Flake, which stands for cherry, or stood for cherry cream flake before the name changed so I'm sure it's no surprise that the taste in this is creamy cherry so and we've got a few slightly broken bits on the top there so I'm just gonna break this down yeah so I'm just gonna start with a couple of grams of this one And it's not too powerful of a cherry flavour this, so I am going to have to be quite delicate because I don't want to completely overwhelm it so we don't, uh, so we don't not, not taste in the cherry at all. So I've got three grams in there, which should be enough to start with. And then for the more tobacco-y element, lost it for a second there. Uh, I have, as you might have seen on another review, uh, the number five British mixture, also from Gareth and Hogger. This is one of my favourites when I'm just looking for a natural tobacco that I recently rediscovered, um, having either never tasted it or just not tasted it for a while. I honestly can't remember which. But yeah, I remember being really surprised just how complex this is for just a completely unflavoured, relatively simple blend. So, as I say, I don't want to be too overwhelming with it. So. I'm just going to start as I often do with a 50 50 mix. So there we are, that is equal parts number five and CC flake. So I'm just going to give it a mix and give it a try. Okay, that's a good start. I'm happy with that as a start. Uh, the cherry flavour is coming through quite nicely. Uh, I can still taste that more full bodied and rugged natural tobacco under there. A slight hint of spiciness to it as well. So, mm. So yeah, I'm thinking the cherry might be coming through a little bit stronger than I want it to there, because I do just really want this to just be a really subtle, just kind of kiss of cherry underneath, so let's have another taste. Mm. Oh, that is nice though. Yeah, there's a bit of sweetness coming in from the number five as well in there, and it's going really, really nicely with the cherry. But I just want to give, mm, want to give a slight more of a tobacco taste to it. So I did bring another thing to use with this, and bit out there but where is it also bought some brown pig so this isn't one that you use in blending a lot but as I say I'm always trying to do something a bit different here so this is as you might have seen just pure brown rope or twist tobacco it's about as natural as you can get uh, tobacco <laughs> one of the most natural forms of it uh, the brown, funnily enough, is actually stronger than the black uh, with twist. It's all down to do with the way that it's uh, cooked after it's um, after it's been prepared. So I'm going to have to go really, really easy on this, but I'm hoping this will just bring like a little extra oomph to the tobacco taste. Um, 
it's certainly not something you'd normally include in a mild blend, so we have to be really, really delicate with it. So I'm just going to pop myself in a couple of grams of it here. So you can see I'm just cutting off some discs and then I will need to break these down into something that's going to be a bit more um, smokable. So let me just crumble these down, I'll get my pipe full and we'll give it another taste. That's, that was a bit of a risk, but I think that's actually turned out quite nicely there. Um, I always think brown pig's got a slight sort of like cigar character to it as well, because it is just such pure tobacco. It's just, it's really, really hard to describe. There's a bit of spiciness to it, but it's really kind of just earthy, rich, spicy. There's really a lot going on in it. So I was worried it was just gonna completely dominate the other flavors I had in there. But I think I've flown possibly a little too close to the sun with this, but not too badly. You can still taste the cherry, but just, yeah, the tobacco's gone a little bit too far over it. So I'm just going to add another couple of grams. It's nice. Get some bits are already broken down. I'm just going to add another couple of grams. Now we're going to give it a taste and hopefully that like, I've just brought the cherry back a little bit more. So we'll just get that now just sort of sitting slightly above the, this more sort of cigar-y tobacco taste that I've got going on here. And I think it should go really well. So let's give it a try. Okay, yeah, I think that's, that is about what I was going for there. Um, if I was going to critique it at all, I'd say maybe it could even stand with being a bit more cherry-y, but it's, uh, it's definitely coming through more now, and it's, it's just sitting really nicely on, on top of the flavours. It's not compromising the natural tobacco taste either, that you still get a nice taste of that. Um, it is almost like a cherry cigar, but like a really, really delicately flavoured cherry cigar. Um, one other thing I'll say with what I've used here as well, having incorporated both a flake and a twist, it means if you're trying this at home, you've got a lot of control over how it's going to smoke as well. This is really smoking quite nice and cool because I've left the chunks of the pig uh, quite thick. I didn't rub out the flake too much more than it already was, but in theory you could leave it really, really coarse cut and have a real slow burning uh, bowl that will last you for ages uh, and shouldn't become too overwhelming at all. Um, the pig in there does give it a nice nicotine content as well so if you're looking for something that's going to be flavoured but also be quite satisfying tobacco wise this could work really well for you so if you want to give this one a try the uh, end ingredients were uh, it was two parts of cc flake one part of brown pigtail and one part of the number five british mixture uh, and I'd say you can alter the thickness of both the twist and the flake depending on how slow or fast you want it to burn and if you're worried about it being too strong you can always omit the brown pig. It won't be quite as complex a blend but you should end up with a fairly similar character maybe just put a bit more of the number five mixture instead. So I am happy to leave that there for today. I'm sure we'll be back soon with another concoction. Uh, if you do want to try this one out yourself, the ingredients are all available on termos.co.uk. If you do end up trying it, let us know what you think. It's always nice to hear if people have tried out these and if they've enjoyed them. And even if you haven't, let us know. It gives us something to work with for next time. Uh, so yeah, if not, thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Cheers. Cheers.